hello everyone uh, welcome again to my channel so in today's video i am going to share another lesson on azure devops series so today we will learn about how we can use work item templates in azure devops so there could be instances where we want to pre-populate certain fields when we are creating let's say any of the work item when we are creating user story or when we are creating a bug so we want our team to use that template so that it becomes very handy for them. There might be some members who are new to the user story writing. So we maybe want to, you know, hint them. OK, this is where we have they have to use the acceptance criteria. This is where they have to use the story definition. So let us start. So I'm using the same uh, Scrum project 2023, uh, which I have created in the Azure DevOps Labs. So if I click on the overview, I can get some basic details about this project. Now, if I go to the project settings, so this project is using the Scrum process. So we can clearly see from the overview details, like the process, the use by this particular project is Scrum. So now if we have to use the work item templates all we have to do is we have to click on the team configuration and under templates we can see uh, this is the work items that are listed as part of the project configuration and the process which have been used now if i click on the product backlog item so currently there are no templates defined so all we have to do is we have to click on new template So this is the name that I want to give and let's say I just want to capture the same under description now in this priority in this field we can just uh, uh, keep on adding new fields that we want let's say the area path we want this one similarly the iteration path we want the scrum project 2023 also we want to add the description which is the story definition as a Now, another thing is acceptance criteria. So I just want to make a note, please. And uh, let's say we can add another field from the list like priority. So I just want to keep it like two for all my user stories. So this is kind of a basic template that I have defined. So what will happen is like when we are creating our new work items in our Azure project. So we have the option either we can fill in all the details or we can choose this template. So what it will do is it will populate these five fields with uh, the values. So it will say uh, iteration path is this one area path is this one priority is this description we have to write in using this particular format acceptance criteria we have to you will get this hint so let's save it so this is saved now if i close so i can see under product backlog item we already have a template defined now what we have to do is let me open another instance of this project uh is current project 2023 so what we have to do is if i click on if I bring the mouse to the boards and click on work items, so this is my work item view. Now all we have to do is click on the product backlog item. So if you remember, we have defined the template for the product backlog item. So let's say this is the new work item that we want to define. So if we have to utilize the template that we have just created, so what we have to do, we have to click on three dots under the templates. We can see this is a template which we have defined. So if I select this one, so you guys can see that uh, it has populated some values so it has populated the area it has populated the iteration priority uh, it has populated the description as well i think because of the angular brackets it's not coming we will see and also it has populated the acceptance criteria so let's first go back and see how we can edit this one so we have to simply click on this thing and click on edit so the reason we want to add it is uh, because uh, it's not taking the angular brackets format so what we can do is as a as a we can simply mention as a user i want to form action 
so that let's say just we want to have this sort of our template so we have saved it now if i i'm just going to again use the new work item view for the product backlog item i am again going and selecting the same template so okay we have to see why it has not come maybe if i edit it this looks good and uh, if i click on okay yeah so now we can see that you know whatever changes we have made uh, that are, that are coming in the uh, this particular backlog item that we want to save right so this is how we can utilize uh, the templates there is another way where we can capture the template that we want so let us understand that so what we will do is uh, we will close this one we will again click on the work items we'll leave it okay so let's let's say this is the product backlog item and uh, if you see uh, in the templates we can create the templates using the project settings or also we can capture it so i will try to explain how we can capture it so let's say this is my user story template using capture okay so the priority i will keep it same area path attrition path is same and here i am saying as a user want so that benefit or value mentioned below so let's say this is our uh, template that we have we want to create for our user story or product backlog item creation so we have specified the necessary fields so all we have to do is if you want to utilize this thing so we have to again click on three dots and under the templates we have to click on capture okay so if you see uh, when we did the capture so all it did was it has you know captured the necessary fields so it has captured the acceptance area id description iteration and the title okay so now let's say this is my user story template using capture so okay so if i sorry this is the team and uh, this is my name okay so now if you see that you know earlier we, i was doing a mistake i didn't select the team so now i have selected the name i have selected the description and these are the fields that i have populated now i can click on the save okay so this template we have created using the capture uh, benefit uh, capture flow now if i see that this is the template that we created using the project settings if i refresh this one so here you guys can see that you know we have a uh, defined uh, template for product backlog item using two flows one using the project settings using the new template another using the capture so both these are defined here and if we have to edit any one of them we have to come here and do the edit so now uh, let us see uh, how we can use the new work item product backlog item and if we have to use the one that we have defined using the cap capture so if i select this one use a story template using the capture so you guys can see right i mean this is what we have defined now it is taking angular brackets because there is a syntax uh, that we have to give you know when we are defining the project template using uh, the project settings so this is what our team can uh, use i mean if 
I mean, this particular feature could be very beneficial. I mean, if there are some team members who are new and they are not uh, pretty much familiar with the user story writing. So what they can do is they can, you know, use the any of the existing templates defined. So, I mean, this will give them a hint that, okay, in the description, they have to utilize the user story format. So as a developer, as a customer, whatever action they want to perform, what value we are getting out of this user story. So they can mention here. And similarly, this denotes, okay, acceptance criteria will go here. I mean, the point wise, we can, mention okay the story should do this the story should do that and we have already pre-populated the area and iteration path so this could be very handy and uh, similarly we can define uh, the templates for the bug as well using the new template i mean we want we can pre-populate certain values uh, if you guys want to see how what we can do for the bug i mean it's uh, let's say uh, so i already have a template defined this is called the bug template if i open this one if i simply edit it so i have a area id i have a iteration i have also mentioned you know some steps severity system info and the title okay mm -hmm. so if we have to utilize this particular bug template so all we have to do is uh, if i go back to the work items mm -hmm. and instead of selecting the product backlog item i can select let's say we have to log a new bug in our project okay so if i'm not sure what all goes where so what we can do is i can come to the templates i can capture the bug template so remember uh, the azure is such a nice tool that you know based on the work item that we want to create it is giving us the template so since bug template is only for the bug so you guys can clearly see that you know we are not getting a list of the okay. templates which we have defined for the pbis or the user stories right so if i select bug template so this is how our bug template will populate so it gives uh, the team member an indication that okay these are the uh, this is the section where they have to write okay what are the steps to produce the bugs this is a section where they have to mention the environment or the system information and uh, the basic severity i have mentioned too as a high if you want to you know change it we we can change it and remember we have to edit the template using the settings only because i mean this particular template all it is saying is you know define a new bug so i mean don't be confused that you know if you think like you know we have pre-populated our template here so this particular template is uh, giving us an option to define a new bug but we cannot uh, modify a template from here in order to modify any of the template be it for bug or be it for product backlog item we have to add it from here only okay so if i edit here let's say in instead of severity high i want like all the severities to be logged as medium so i have saved it now if i close this one and let's say again i go to back back to work items if i click on bug and here again i want to choose the template so you can see uh, okay i think it is still showing high let me let me see whether it has saved it or not if I click on edit, okay, this is medium. So maybe I have to refresh. Okay, and if I click on new bug, and if I select the bug template, so you guys can see now it is taking the medium. So because I have the same project instance opened uh, in the two tabs separately for this particular video. So this is how we can utilize the template uh, using the work item templates uh, feature i mean we can come to the project setting and define a template for a bug or for a product backlog, backlog item or for an epic or a feature anything so that's all as part of today's video i hope you guys liked it and uh, please share uh, this channel to others as well who can also benefit and this will also motivate me as well to contribute more and thanks again. Please share and subscribe. Thank you.